browsing at videojs.com you can find detailed documentation as well as a jump start for using this specific library. The video.js library actually use the video element we all know from HTML5. Let's take a look at this code sample. At first, I place these two lines. This one refer the CSS file that is part of the video.js library. We can either take this file and place it on our server or refer the CSS file on uh, zencdn.net uh, server. The same with the JavaScript library itself. Either we place it on our own server or use the video.js uh, file we can find in uh, this URL. Once we do that, we can continue and use the library. As I mentioned earlier, the library used the video element uh, we all know from HTML5. Uh, it supports more features, uh, allows us to do more things, things that we cannot do without uh, the library. Uh, the simplest uh, scenario for using uh, this uh, library would be uh, just a simple video element. Um, the ID attribute uh, should be unique for each video element. We can later uh, use this ID uh, when using the JavaScript um, API video.js provides us with. Um, having a unique ID for each one of the video elements will allow us to interact um, separately which, uh, with uh, each one of them. The class attribute should be assigned with um, a name of a CSS class. We can use uh, this default one or develop our own. Uh, here you can see a sample for placing an attribute we all know from HTML5. If you want the controls, so just write the attribute controls. Um, with and I, this is our way to specify uh, the dimension. A poster attribute, here I'm using um, an image, a specific image that was created for a specific video. I'm using here the image and the video you can find if you check the jumpstart guide at video.js uh, documentation. You can either go over this or uh, just go over, over here to the video.js website and find detailed documentation and detailed uh, jumpstart guide. Data setup is an attribute um, we can assign with a JSON object, a string which is actually an object in JavaScript. Uh, we can use uh, data setup for uh, configuring uh, the video player. Uh, some of the capabilities are also available in the simple, well known uh, way we all know from HTML5, like the controls, just adding the controls over here is enough, but we can also use the syntax video.js library provides us with. Uh, specifying preload with the value true means that the video will be loaded immediately. Here we specify using the source elements the uh, video files we want uh, to play. If you are familiar with uh, HTML5, then you are already familiar with uh, this technique. Uh, the first um, file that uh, the video player will try to play would be this one. If it fails, it will try this one. If it fails, it will try to play uh, this one. Let's give it a try and see the outcome. Let's refresh. This is the outcome. As you can see, we see the poster, this specific uh, image file we specified. 
image file that was uh, created by video.js developers and this is the controller we get to see because we have here the controls attribute and pay attention that we have a redundant code it is just for explaining the stuff we could delete this one we shall still see the controls if I delete this one as well then there won't be any controls um, let's give it back as you can see we have a control and if we press the button it uh, starts uh, playing Now let's say that we want to interact with the uh, video player, with the object uh, created in the background, that object that represents uh, this specific video player. The simplest way to do it would be calling the video.js function, passing over the ID of the very specific uh, video we want to interact with. Uh, video.js uh, function returns a reference for that object. We can invoke the ready function on that object. Ready function um, receives a function and the ready function um, guarantees that the function it receives will be executed when the whole document is loaded and the video player is uh, ready for uh, playing the video. So in this code sample I simply pass over an anonymous function that includes a very simple code that plays the video. Uh, the function you pass over to ready is invoked on the very specific object on which we invoke ready. So if I specify this I actually refer the object its reference was assigned to the player variable. So here the bottom line is uh, that we get a, a web page that once uh, it is downloaded to the web browser and the video player is ready for uh, playing the video, immediately we get this line executed. So now if I check this uh, code sample and do refresh I will get to see the uh, video immediately uh, working so just uh, as you can see I get the video immediately played I can take out the controls it would be simpler nicer